That, uh, we are live on the UNLV campus tonight. Behind me here, you can still see there's caution tape up as this investigation continues here on the campus into what happened here yesterday. Uh, now, it is a lot quieter than it was 24 hours ago. There's a lot less police here on campus, uh, but many people, many people who are on campus, students and faculty, are still trying to cope with what happened here. Now, that uh, gunman made his way through that building, uh, uh, business building here on the campus. As we heard in that press conference this afternoon, Metro said the suspect was on a number of floors and opened fire, shooting and killing three victims. Meanwhile, people all around were listening to the gunfire. Associate Professor Hans Rawhauser was in that building. He said he heard a fire alarm go off and he exited outside the building when shots rang out. I wasn't really paying attention and all of a sudden I hear shots and, you know, a some bullets hit this this uh, this Ford Explorer, the nearest one, about 50 feet away from me. And there was uh, a couple faculty. They look older. I don't know. I didn't recognize them. They they huddled behind the, the that SUV. Uh, and then the shots kind of stopped, and the policemen converged on one space. I couldn't see the person, but I guess that's where they shot him. Uh, Rawhauser, they're also talking about uh, right after that, when those shots rang out, he was being told to leave the campus uh, or shelter in place. Now, uh, back out here live on the UNLV campus tonight. It is a lot quieter, like I just mentioned, but there are still police here on the, on the campus and areas are still caution taped off as this investigation continues. J1 and Abel both mentioning the investigation will continue for quite some time. But as soon as we get more information on the campus reopening here completely, we'll be sure to update everybody. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio.